In this video, we will discuss K-means algorithm for the data given in terms of a dimension, so like uh, weight and pH. So, uh, what you have to do? Uh, first of all, find out M1 and M2. So, how to find out M1? So, uh, add all the data for the x x dimension, uh, like 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 uh, divided by 4 and m2 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4 so you will get uh, m1 and m2 now consider any two any two uh, values so like for m1 I've, i'm considering a and b and for m2 i'm considering c, uh, c and d so to find out m1 for a b uh, add 2 plus 1 divided by 2 x-axis divided by 2 and y-axis that is 1 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 1 so you will get 1.5 and 1 that is your m1 for a and b now find out m m2 for c and d so to find out c and d 5 plus 4 divided by 2 so that is 9 divided by 2 that is that you will get 4.5 and 3 plus 4 divided by 2 so you will get 3.5 so that is your m24 cd now you have to again find out uh, euclidean distance for this data so here uh, you you get the m1 is 1.5 and 1 and m2 is 4.5 and 3.5 and the points are the data are 1 1 2 1 4 3 and 5 4 so now find out this euclidean, euclidean distance between 1 1 2 1.5 and 1 so you will get uh, 0 0.5 and uh, find out distance between 1 1 and 4.5 to 3.5 so you will get uh, 3 4.30 double 1 so now find out the uh, euclidean distance uh, distance between uh, all the data so how to find out that distance that uh, i have already taught you in previous videos so you can refer that videos now uh, create the cluster based on the distance so your minimum value is 0 0.5 so you can consider uh, let me c1 and c2 so you can consider this value as as c1 cluster and B also in C1 cluster. C that is 0 0.70711. So you can uh, consider C as the as in C2 cluster because uh, uh, the minimum distance is 0 0.7 uh, 0 0.70 uh, that you are getting from the C2 the C2 point. So you can consider uh, this value in C2 cluster same as for d so you will get c1 and c2 as a and b and c2 is c and d so we have taken previously also m1 is equal to a and b and m2 is equal to c and d so you can define these two as the cluster you can't change uh, you can't make any changes uh, in this cluster because this is already a perfect uh, clustering um, for this data